Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you one of the very beginner friendly trick or an approach by which uh, you know you can populate all the dates. So for example this is an order date that means a date on which order is placed and I will show you how you can get this data so that uh, you can basically follow it along with me. So just for the time being be with me. That you have these order dates 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8th is missing, right? Then 9, 10, 11, 12th is missing. Then, if you see after 16, 18 is missing, right? So, this can be based on the scenario that on that particular day, either it was a holiday or no order placed or something happened. But in your analysis, you want to populate those two dates or you want to know those dates on which the order was not there, right? So for example, in this case, you want 12th of Jan and you want zero, let's say over here or a blank value for that matter. So how you can get that is something which I will show you. So before that, from where you can get this data so that you can follow it along with me. So this is the folder link for which I have given the link in the description, which has a lot of my data sets. And uh, I am now keeping all of my data set in this data set sheet. So this data sheet you have in the row number 19, the sample superstore data set, which you can get it. Also, what I want to show you is uh, you can get all of my power video uh, sheet or all of my power videos in a very easy to arrange manner like these two people are accessing. So I have the video title, I have the video link that way you can search any of my video and uh, jump onto that video using the link. Uh, using the video link which is given over here that way you don't have to search in the YouTube for an uh, you know forever to find a particular video so it has 300 plus videos go ahead use it all right so coming back to the scenario what I have is this now for this scenario what we do is we come over here in the table view we click on the new table and in this new table what we do is we say the order order state table and we use something called as calendar function right and uh, it, this is the start date here we provide the minimum of order date over here and then max of order date and close it so what you see now is you have starting from uh, 3 1 uh, sorry, 3rd of Jan to 7th is now populated if you don't see 12th is now populated and you'll just see the relationship if there is any relationship if not then what we can do is we can bring it over here and what it says is based on the order table that we just created this one we have the date and then in the orders table it is picking up the order date so from one to many which is okay because uh, one date can appear multiple times like in this case 21 December is appearing so this is one to many cross filter direction is this so we have the relationship now as we clicked ok so now if I just remove this which is transactional table what we are doing is from a transactional table which is order table we are going to a reporting table which is this one so if I bring this and uh, if I say I only need date, not the date hierarchy. Now, if you see, I have 7th, I have 12th, I have 17 as well. And what I can do is I can bring in, let's say, the sales value as well over here. Then you will see over here that if any particular date, if it is missing, then it will not show right now it seems like the value or the transactions are present so that's why it is going ahead and showing it so three four five six seven see eight is not here even right now because uh, it is disappearing in that case earlier if you see if i just remove that eight was eight is now coming so this can this scenario can happen and how to overcome that i will show you uh, in one minute so seven and nine so what you need to do is over here in the date, you need to come and say show items with no data. By default, it is unchecked. You, if you want to show them, you need to enable that. And now if you see, this is appearing. 
if by default in your case if this is coming and you want to remove that then you can uncheck that either way you know situation is in your hand you want to show it make sure it is checked if you don't want to show it make sure it is unchecked so now i hope you got the idea if let's say you are facing this issue that items are appearing without missing value items are not appearing for some dates all all these type of scenario now you can very easily handle it so i hope you enjoyed this video i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic